yeah, it was pretty catastrophic. I know you, you you were asking me if I remember it. I was four, so I don't really, so, but the, watching the video is uh, is nuts. I, it really is forever changing the look of Mount yes. St. Helens. Yeah, you know it's the mountain that doesn't have the, the point now. Yes. <laughs> that's, that's how I always know when I'm looking <laughs> in our weather cameras. It's yeah. So mm -hmm. But uh, also a very good reminder that although we do live in a relatively safe location here in the Pacific Northwest, we've got a lot of activity happening underneath our feet and above our skies too. Over the past several days, this was a look out from our Alene camera out towards the Mount St. Helens area. Yesterday, so those towering cumulonimbus clouds started to build and a very similar sight is likely to happen once again as we move our way through this afternoon. So if you do plan on maybe taking a hike of any sort up in elevation, keep in mind that that thunderstorm activity could pose a threat as far as the lightning goes. And for the Mount St. Helens area, a lot of the roads closed around the observatory due to that recent landslide. So the area is still ever changing as our atmosphere really plays a good impact on erosion as well. As our skies remain on the clear side up and down the I-5 quarter, we are holding on to a bit of that marine layer, creating just a bit of that cloud coverage out along the coast with a nice onshore flow. So that's making it feel just a little bit more on the muggier side today as our thunderstorm potential exclusive to the Cascades and points to the east. We got to be cautious about that dry lightning potential, although I think the thunderstorms today will pack enough moisture that the threat of dry lightning really starts to diminish as we still are picking up on a bit of that haze with a live look out from our Vancouver Riverbank camera. The haze all due to wildfire smoke from Canada. Thankfully, it's high enough in the atmosphere that's not impacting our air quality here for the I five quarter the shoreline or the Cascades, but that's not to say the same for all of us here in the northwest corner of the United States. You'll notice far western sections of Montana falling back to the unhealthy category as those fires are burning just to the north, eventually finding their way further to the south, and that's creating some pretty spectacular sunsets for those living further to the east. I've been seeing them float around on social media over the past day or two as some wildfire smoke still remains for parts of western Oregon and Washington. That's all due to some prescribed burns you can see just to the south of Bend. Sometimes our models have a hard time picking up on how much smoke that will actually uh, create, all due to it being manned hourly and usually extinguished fairly quick. So sometimes the smoke may be not as widespread or as heavy as some of our models are predicting. But for the most part, those kind of milky skies, they'll be staying with us not only this afternoon, but in through the next several days. With a look out over the Cascades, just to the west of the Bend area, you can see some of that smoke all do to the prescribed burns with a beautiful live look out over downtown Portland right now. Still some of the haze, but bright blue, sunny, clear skies remain as we hold steady at about 73 degrees, expecting to get back up into the 80s by the time we get into the afternoon. No records likely to be broken today. Our forecasted high right at about 84 degrees. Our old record currently holds steady at 88 last setback in 1940. All due to a ridge of high pressure that continues to plague the western half of the country. But as we push closer towards the weekend, this very weak trough eventually starts to push its way a little bit closer to the Pacific Northwest, bringing our temperatures closer to where they should be for this time of year. So here it is all timed out, holding on to that cloud coverage for most of the shoreline for today and in through the I-5 quarter sunshine until we get to the start of the day tomorrow. It will be cloudy to start off. Sunshine takes over by the the afternoon as we fall to the upper 50s. So still a very mild night on the docket force with winds out the north at about three to six miles per hour. Seven day forecast shows that a lot of dry weather is starting to take shape over western Oregon and Washington and expecting to see our temperatures slowly start to get closer to where they should be this time of year. Normal being about 70 degrees. We'll get close to that on Monday with the increased cloud coverage and then the sunshine that takes over with the gradual warming trend by the middle mm -hmm. of next week. So still on this roller coaster, but at least the peaks and the valleys aren't as high or yeah. low as yeah. prior it, days. It de definitely feels muggy, though. It me. does. Well, my hair just, no. which, you know, I guess bigger problems out there. <laughs> <laughs> but issue. at least your hair knows what the weather's doing, right? I guess so. Yeah. That's my that's my meteorologist right I, there. I, I come my to you hair. and I'm like, how's the humidity today, Jenny? <laughs> All right, we'll be right back with more news.